Hey, Lucy. Uh, I just saw this this video. That sucks, man. Let's, well, I keep doing this. I've noticed that I keep doing this. I keep throwing my head back. And I think it's because I can't see uh, past my, my hair. So I'm going to get it my hair cut. I called my hair guy last night. That's beside the point. I, um... I don't, I don't think, I mean, I don't think there's anything, anything that you're going to do is ever going to change the fact that people leave negative remarks. I mean, you know, it, when, when people respond, especially on something like this on the internet, like YouTube, which is, God knows, I'm hundreds of thousands of people, we can't, there's no way to control what people feel when they respond. People, people are going to feel whatever they're feeling. And, and these people respond to just this nasty fucking energy. There's nothing we could do about it. They're angry. They're angry people. And it's all about how they want to see it. And I don't know if, if, if they, when someone... I, I've been getting these four people in particular that are just leaving like comments like, fake, 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 you suck. I hope you die, burn hippie, stuff like that. And I've kind of come to a acceptance in it. I'm, I'm willing to talk to people that leave comments like that and ask them, you know, why they're doing it, what's in them that's making them do it. I'm kind of rambling on about it, but my point is, well, one, it sucks that, it, it, you know, it doesn't suck because you did, you put yourself in the situation where essentially you stood up in front of a crowd of a million people and said, I want to tell you, real genuinely said, I want to tell you a little bit about my life. So people are going to react violently to that. Some people are going to react really violently to that. I think that, that the more uh, the more fear people have in their daily lives, the more that genuine behavior sets them off. And the more people are going to fucking lose it when they hear you and see you doing it. I said that I was going to start... Uh, just leaving, I've been, I've been leaving videos, I've been leaving like five videos a day sometimes. And I've, I, I, I'm trying to find balance of my own, so I kind of want to say everything that I was going to say in this video, and I'll just respond to your video with it. Um, oh, I want to talk about my hair, get my hair cut. Also, Jason Lee came into my restaurant today where I work at. The guy from uh, My Name is Earl, he was on Mall Rats. He's great, but he... Uh, it was crazy because like I'm all about just dropping pretense and opening up to people. Why not? As far as I see it, fuck it. But when you see like a celebrity or someone that you that you've seen before, someone that you see communicate, like for instance you, if I met you, I I would have like a, almost like a nervousness. Not really a nervousness, but like I feel like I know them, and I don't know anything about them. But I I know like particularly Jason Lee. I don't know anything about Jason Lee, but I know how he communicates because I've seen him act. So I kind of know. Like, how people communicate really is such a huge part of who we are. Like, I feel like I know you, even though I've never met you before. And I know it's silly. I don't know you. Well, you, you don't know me. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know. It's still, I'm still, it's all so new to me, all this one-way communication that just, you can send everywhere. It's fucking crazy. And I think that you in particular are someone that's on kind of the, on the forefront of this. You're like, I mean, instant celebrity, you know? You, you're you experiencing a lot of things that celebrities experience. People that can't leave their houses. They can't go to the grocery store because they're going to get mobbed. And I think the best, I guess, best advice I could give, and I, and I don't want to see this happen, but would be if you really, really, really don't like it, stop putting up videos. Let it fade away. And that's going to be the only way. Otherwise, I mean, I think you're here to stay. If you keep doing what you're doing, you know. And fuck it. Embrace who you are. You know, use your real name. I know that Amanda always talks about how women kind of have to be careful. Which I think is a, a shame. But I mean, you know. It's ultimately your choice. I don't ever want you to feel like ashamed of your personal life. Fuck it. We got nothing to hide. None of us do. Uh, I think that's all. Alright. It's good to see your videos. Sorry that everything was so, uh, 
has been so explosive for you lately, but hey, let me know how that is too. Let me know how you're dealing with it, like what you're doing to deal with it. I've, I've been struggling over whether or not I should block people or just delete comments or do nothing at all. And so far I've done nothing at all. I've just, I've just responded to people. Even if it's just fuck you, die. I would still would rather talk to someone because they're all people with feelings and thoughts and the anger's coming from somewhere. It's not me. I'll see you later.